Hello, my name's Charlotte Watts. I am a nutritional therapist and yoga teacher. Um, I'm gonna give you five top tips today. My first top tip is to start the day as you mean to go on. And that really means getting up in a way that doesn't make you very stressed and having a savory breakfast. So really nipping any tendencies to just start moving to the sugar and going towards those sweet cravings early in the day. So if you have something, and I'm saying for instance, I had smoked salmon and avocado on rye toast this morning, something that's got some healthy fats, some healthy protein, that really sets up your energy levels, your blood sugar for the day. What you'll find out is that you crave sugar less, you have much better energy, much better mood, and you'll also help temper those 4 p.m sugar cravings and also those kind of late night binge type things. My next tip is to include cinnamon in your diet. So that's cinnamon as the spice. It could be in things like tea, use it as a sweetener in things like porridges, yogurt, on fruit. It's really good substitute for anything sweet. So that includes the kind of sugars and sweetness as well. It helps balance blood sugar. So it actually stops you craving sugars in the long run. Um, and it tells the brain you've had something sweet and it also mimics the hormone e insulin. So it actually regulates blood sugar for you. It's a very, very clever spice. My next tip is to be really aware throughout the day that you are not being sedentary. So this is really getting the body moving all the time. Now we are not built necessarily to need to be active absolutely all the time, but we're definitely not built to be sedentary. So this means particularly if you sit at a desk all day, you move around daily, and you make sure that you walk places, you, you know, it's the, the, the old information you get off the bus stop earlier, but this stuff is really key. Keep your body moving as much as you can. What that does is it keeps your metabolism up, it keeps your blood sugar regulated, it keeps your appetite regulated, and it's incredibly good for your mood. And following on from the moving, walking theme is very much to get out um, into some cold weather occasionally. When things feel like you're a little bit nipping, you might wanna put a layer on, or you might put the central heating on at night. Just think and start to get used to turning temperatures down again. You get used to a little bit of cold. This increases what we call thermogenesis, which means heat creation in the body. And it keeps the metabolism ramped up. It's incredibly good for the immune system. And it, ten it makes the body burn fat off rather than store fat. It's something that people tend to be quite missing in, in modern society, where we tend to get a little bit kind of cosseted and keep things a little bit too warm. So getting out walking in the cold is incredibly good for you. And my last tip, and absolutely certainly not the least important, is to stop every so often. Just to stop and be present. So in the book, The De-Stress Diet, we particularly uh, emphasize stopping to take 10 deep breaths. But this can just be anything where you just watch that you have this tendency to keep moving all the time, to keep stimul being stimulated by the modern world, and you just stop and be present. And that can be one or two breaths, even something that makes you feel like you can start to slow your heartbeat down, that you can notice that you breathe into your out breath, and you can just stop your brain either kind of gnawing about all the things that have happened in the past or fixating all the things that are going to happen in the future. Just be here and now. And that's particularly important when you're eating. So you may have heard of mindful eating, but this is very much the practice of sitting down, fully chewing, and being absolutely present when you eat. And there's plenty of good research to show that mindful eating helps to regulate weight, helps to regulate appetite, uh, and helps digestive processes and, and body systems.